Hello everyone, I'm honored to be here. Big thank you to Olena Bilash and Roman Petrician and all of you for organizing such a great conference, uh, a part of a bigger and great um, online resource for the study of Yevra Maidan. In uh, 11 minutes of my presentation, I will argue that since November 21st, 2013, for the next three months, civil society in Ukraine has awakened and applied uh, an array of nonviolent actions through which it created a microcosm for functioning institutions, a model for what I call a new Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine I'd like to see the country prosper into. Uh, please, ref please refer to this brief timeline where I included several peak numbers of protesters in Kyiv. The refusal to sign an association agreement with the EU uh, has triggered Yevromaidan protests that were the largest protests since the Orange Revolution in 2004. For example, 250,000 people were on Maidan in Kyiv on November 24th, just three days into the movement. Um, after November 30th, the brutal beating of um, the students by Berkut riot police, um, the number of protesters has increased and um, this, the sentiments um, of protesters have changed as people began to demonstrate against other issues in the society, such as police brutality, government corruption, dysfunctional institutions, and demanded a change of the regime. Incredible mobilization uh, has been seen across uh, the regions of Ukraine. Citizens from different cities organized buses, cars to come to Kyiv. Uh, people have massively organized through online platforms, um, forums. They posted announcements about available lodging, collection of items, um, warm clothes, etc. Um, so, such uh, websites are Maidan Help, Halas.org, Diete, uh, Help, uh, Yevromaidan.org. And um, 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 multiple civic organizations have been part of uh, this movement. Um, people, um, funds for food were provided by local churches, uh, restaurants, and everything was made possible by um, private donations. So a large uh, instructional organization from multiple sources. Um, so people provided heating, supplies, and transportation. So very organized. Uh, in contrast, um, anti-Maidan anti protesters, uh, supported and paid by the former, well, uh, by the party of regions, um, in Marinsky Park. In Kiev, left uh, much trash after themselves, and the ecological uh, initiative, uh, guided by Andriy Parubi, uh, the head of the self-defense, uh, have organized a couple hundred of activists to clean up the park and uh, show that the protesters are organized and um, well conducted. And as for education, on December seven, Natalia Shulha, director of um, Ukrainian Science Club, together with her colleagues, uh, opened or well, created an open university of Maidan where they organized hundreds of lectures in order to educate protesters. Lecture topics included economics, uh, history, politics, among many others. Uh, university had its own stage and uh, book center in Ukrainian house building. And also free press um, was mostly available through different online platforms, such as uh, live streams of, um, as you can see, of Spilnatova, Hromatske, Expresso, and of course social media. Um, as for other initiatives, um, Yevromaidan activists share their expertise and assistance by giving law advice and even psychological help. Uh, actions by the organization called uh, Anti-Corruption Action Center, Center Protege Corrupti, uh, also along with the uh, Pep Watch initiative, uh, collected and revealed uh, detailed information on the assets of Yanukovych and his family and uh, his close al allies in Ukraine and abroad. And a uh, team of lawyers uh, also launched an initiative uh, it's called Yevromaidan uh, SOS and uh, to look after the detained activists. So, and of course, all free of cost. 
and um, security was an important aspect of course um, so uh, the borders of the tent city on Maidan were protected by different soknyas or units of hundred and with tall barricades around and um, the units were a reminiscent of uh, uh, the real army discipline and um, so they provided security also, after Maidan, which is a, a thousand, well, a hundred or caravan of uh, cars, so active, after Maidan activists have played a role in providing security, uh, patrolling at night, um, of course, demonstrations, and, uh, uh, and in addition, Ultras, uh, who are uh, soccer fans, and due to their spirit of unity, have gathered in high numbers and have been a visible source throughout the revolution by participating in marches, patrolling the streets and protecting Maidan from Titushki, who are um, a name for government hired thugs. And um, another initiative called National Hospital um, was created after the brutal attacks uh, on January, after January 22nd. And this is a group of activists uh, provided field crews uh, and hospitals with all necessary equipment and um, the budget of the starting budget was uh, 100,000 hryvnias which is uh, $10,000 and um, it had six coordinates but uh, coordinators but was financed by hundreds of uh, different activists and uh, of course volunteers who were helping in these as well. So Maidan had different activists from all different backgrounds and of course the role of women uh, was, um, was quite large and um, for example the first picture is from the initiative it's called Do Not Attack, to Love and Protect where women, uh, journalists, artists, designers um, um, organized themselves to talk to about a hundred uh, Barakut police fighters and um, they were calling, calling. The, they were talking to them and saying that enough of standing there. Let's go in a day. <laughs> like any uh, use of humor in such um, uh, in such situation to to find a human element in them. And um, the picture on the right is from 16 Sotnya uh, of self defense, which is a, a women unit, and. Uh, this photo is actually from, um, this is the interior forces of uh, Nutrishnivitska uh, car and then they just painted the wheels and the slogan, the slogan you can read here. And so Maidan did not happen only in Kiev, but of course it, it just gathered from all across the regions of Ukraine. and. Um, this um, photo on the bottom is from Odessa. It's um, actually another nonviolent action of uh, 500 meter long uh, flag, uh, well, national Ukrainian flag, and um, it's just uh, su you know supporting the United Ukraine and um, and the picture above is the light show. So different tactics, marches, protests. Uh, art and music, which we will get to in a minute, uh, which is here. And <clears throat> so, uh, Art of Resistance. The first um, photo is a sculpture by a French um, French artist. It's called The New, U well, the New Ukraine. And it's uh, just like a title of my presentation. It's a woman emerging out of water and um, symbolizing the, leaving all the past behind and she's uh, she, uh, she is uh, you know this pure pure element and of course the Christmas tree since this was the winter that has changed us I'm copyrighted there and um, and another photo is from an uh, artist hundred or Sotnya who decided to um, uh, paint the shields of the protesters and graffiti was another element and music of resistance and this piano has been very famous uh, on December 7 it was established in front of the unit of riot police who were protecting the president administration building and uh, it was painted blue and yellow to symbolize uh, the national colors and um, of course um, stage at Maidan collected 
uh, many different artists who have been always performing there. But one song went uh, viral online. It's called Vita Ciao, and it gathered over one million views. And uh, yes, and so all these nonviolent actions have. Uh, evolved into mm, all these different civic groups coming together and actually implementing uh, lobbying into the laws uh, well, hopefully eventually will come into fruition. For example, uh, the new initiative, um, it's called the Expert Sotnia, um, about more than 100 activists coming together at the moment and they're experts in different fields. Uh, they have about 16 working groups at the moment and they're working on judicial reform, uh, decentralization, anti-corruption, and a couple of other, um, uh, let's say, model institutions that I have mentioned in my presentation, which we, we can discuss the effect of them um, in our discussion. And thank you very much.